What is up my fellow munchies? It's your boy Mo here and welcome to Cooking with Mo. But first, I got one present for y'all. Got the apron back. Now it's on to cooking. So we're going a little bit away from the Middle East today, but we're not going too far. We're going to Turkey. And what are we making today? Turkish ades. Ades is lentils. So I know a lot of y'all don't really use lentils in your dishes, but it's okay, because today we're gonna get you a nice healthy meal that you could help shave off that quarantine 15. So what we're gonna need for Turkish Adas. We're gonna need some red lentils, which just FYI, little knowledge drop for you. The Turkish tend to use red lentils as to us Arabs tend to use the brown lentils. So we got the red lentils, we got some carrots, lemon, potato, garlic, onion, tomato, tomato paste, salt, pepper, and of course, the blood of Arab, olive oil. First step, time to slay your onions. We're gonna cut them up into cubes so we can saute them in our pan. Someone in the last video suggested that I should get some goggles to slay these onions, but I'm gonna tell y'all from experience, guys, it doesn't matter what I use, I will still always cry. Ask Shafa Snacks. He can't handle onions. I'm very sensitive to onions. As much as I love them, I hate to cut them. Make sure you cut it like that, and then just get yourself some nice little cubes. These are gonna be beautiful in the pan. Next up, three cloves of garlic, and we're going to do like a rough chop almost, just to make sure that, you know, we can get all of these edges browned up. All right, next up, you're gonna set your heat to medium, medium high on the stove. You got your pot right here. Throw your olive oil in there, about a tablespoon. It really measures olive oil. You're gonna give it about a minute, let the pan kind of get to know, heat up. You know, they gotta warm up to each other so we can add the rest of the ingredients. Bring your onions in after you've cried for about 16 minutes. And you're just gonna pour it on into this pan, this pot, and hopefully not spill it everywhere like I just did. Scoop it up, as we always say. You're gonna saute your onions for about two minutes so we can throw our garlic in here. So, kinda. Let the onion and olive oil get to know each other a little bit. They on a date. It's been about two minutes. Here's your garlic. Drizzle that sucker in there. And now, start browning them. All right, as you see a little bit of browning on here, everything, onions are becoming translucent. We're gonna add the cubed tomatoes. We're gonna saute these, make sure they get to know everybody. Because the goal is, it's about to be a party. After about a minute, you'll see that the color of the tomatoes is kind of transferred over to the onions. Now, time to get your carrots and throw it in. Saute this for another two to three minutes. All right, everything is becoming really fragrant right now. Next up on the list, we got our potatoes. Next up, you got your one heaping tablespoon of tomato paste. Throw that in there. And now we're just gonna saute all of this for another 10 minutes. While you're sauteing all of this, you're gonna go get yourself five cups of boiling water. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Next up, throw your one cup of adas in here, to which you add five cups of boiling water. Make sure all these bad boys get covered. In a traditional Turkish lentil soup, there are dried mint, but I ain't about that life, so I didn't put it in. Mix it all around. Make sure everybody gets off the ground and starts dancing with this water. We're gonna start off with the side this by putting half a tablespoon of salt in this. You don't want the soup to evaporate too much and then the salt be overwhelming, so this is just a starting off base. Some black pepper to taste. Once your soup comes to a rolling boil, make sure to continue to boil this for the next 20 minutes and stir occasionally. Don't do what I did and only stir it like three times. 
Now I will say while we were stirring it around, we did notice the water got a little low, so we added another two cups. All right guys, it's been 20 minutes and we about to make this I just dummy thick, you heard? You're gonna take your immersion blender and you're gonna immerse yourself in the thickness. Watch this I just transform from one C to seven Cs. After you make sure that you've blended everything together, you gonna know this thing is dummy thick. Look at it right now. That thing is coating the immersion blender and that's what you're looking for. All right, after you got all this nice thick soup done, we're just gonna add the juice of one whole lemon. Make sure you get every last drop. And there you have it, my fellow munchies. I just. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you throw up a like, smash that subscribe, tap that bell. Whatever you do will really help my channel grow. I appreciate you all watching, and until next time, munch on.